All right, we are back, and I made a mistake. You deleted all of the footage. I deleted the build and our review, and I went to publish and it. The beginning. Part. Yep. I, I, I deleted everything about it except the intro, which is saved uh, somewhere else. So we're going to not show you how to build it. Take that, everyone. That's a. Uh, that has the pieces. April Fool's joke on you. That hasn't happened yet. Future Fools of April. Yeah! Wait, it's not April, though. It's exactly. March. <laughs> it's March! That's what I'm saying. Future Fools of April. Anyway, so let's take a look at it. Um, there's a lot of cool things about this, and we're going to show the R2-D2 from the droid set. And uh, the 20-year anniversary. Yeah, so let's start with the 25-year anniversary little thing. Um, it's sort of a gift with purchase, it, even though it's the only set you can get it in. Uh, it is Darth Malak from Knights of the Old Republic, which was a cool game that I played a lot when I was younger. Wait, he's only in that? None uh, of the comics or anything? Well, no, he's in the comics too, I believe. I believe there's uh, comics, expanded universe ones. Um, and then five years ago, we got this guy, this 20-year set, which is, I mean, really cool. This was a, a true gift with purchase, and it is dusty. Um, we got the quad jumper or whatever it was called with Ray and Finn and some aliens, and I believe that is the purchase that got us this. So very cool. They'll be on display next to each other. And then five more years, see what uh, what we get for the 30-year anniversary. Nothing. They'll forget. They better not forget. They probably already have a set ready. So um, displays, we're getting pretty used to those, right? Um, nice little information about R2. All right, so that noise was the cat being curious into the Lego Star Wars display case because it was open. So there's a couple different optional features for display, like these you can take off and put on them closed. I don't know if it would have been too hard to just have a little internal swivel thing. Either way is fine, because I mean, it's not like you're going to be sitting there playing with it too much. Uh, or you can take the the little, uh, what do you call it, camera probe that pops up. Um, it's supposed to... It's supposed to come out of one of these. One of these is supposed to raise up. Okay. So I'm sure somebody's going to come up with an uh, option on how to fix it so that the legs, the the foot, can properly move so that you don't have to always have him kind of reclining like that. He can be upright and have it as opposed to it not moving. Mm -hmm. um, so some cool things like this piece is only connected here. It just hangs loose inside here and is blocked in so that it can move properly and you can kind of position it. I did not like building the legs for some reason. Bag eight and 10, weirdly hated them. It was basically eight was this one and then 10 was that one or vice versa. And building all this in this section, I don't know what it was, but it bugged me. But um, nine and 11, fantastic. Which is weird because then it was just the feet mirrored. I. I don't know, just probably a weird thing about me. Let's uh, compare him to the droids R2-D2, which is just a little bit smaller. Uses the same piece oh, right here. But doesn't have another piece on it. Yeah, it doesn't have a, the flat one there. Um, the detail is definitely shown extra on him, think, uh, on the feet too. I think this one's better though, because you can program it. Well, yeah, it's also quite a bit spendier, but it does come with the gonk droid and the mouser droid. And it looks like, to me, uh, I might have put the leg, the feet on backwards, like this one. I put on the wrong way, <laughs> unless you're only ever supposed to look at R2 this way. Um, I'll have to look about taking that apart and fixing it. But if you're looking for just a display piece, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, it's got a lot more detail. There are more stickers, like these are stickers versus these are printed pieces. So they were already there. I don't know how much the proportions would screw up um, if you were to put that. I know that these two pieces are slightly longer, so it wouldn't fit on there. But I mean, if you had put something else underneath there, I think it probably would have been fine. 
it would have been just one less sticker. There's only a few. Um, the sticker thing itself came bent and one of the stickers was already coming off. So I fortunately noticed that right away and it didn't get stuck on anything. Um, you can't really see it on the video because I remember when I was editing the other ones, there's this gray misprinting on here. It's the line that surrounds the sticker. Yeah, it is pretty irritating. Then one of the other small stickers, I think this one was something was printed weird and the head also kind of pops off pretty easy if you're not uh, careful. But I would say for $99.99, it's a really good, mm -hmm. really good one, right? Yeah. Um, lots of detail. If you like R2, I mean, who doesn't like R2-D2? People. Are they good people? No. People who don't like Star Wars. That's who. Okay, well, they're wrong. Anyways. They're wrong. <laughs> That's an opinion. That's an opinion, not fact. This is true. It is an opinion, not fact, but you should like R2-D2. That's fact. You know, saying should means that it's an opinion. Another really good thing, this came with four extra Lego whips. Who doesn't want four extra Lego whips? Huh? Well, anyways, I guess one thing left to say before I have to edit another video and finish it and get it posted. Build, Build well. well. Build, Build safe. safe. Bye.